rationale of having streets named in municipal district and metropolitan areas, do you think there's a right one? Has that been done in your constituency? Yeah. For me, I, I think it's a very laudable project. Mm. Laudable project, especially in the metropolitan municipal areas where there are a lot of developmental issues and new houses, new development are springing up. Uh, especially when you are you're having a lot of new visitors coming to the country, the issue of direction becomes a problem. And as even the most importantly, in the area of revenue collections, where the assemblies are supposed to know the number of houses, the location of the houses, and then the, the types of houses. Because, you know, the revenue, the revenue especially the property rates are tied based on the, the, the houses, the, the nature or the, the type of houses that you build. I think the, the database will capture all those things to ensure that Yes, assembly can be able can be able to properly budget what they're supposed to gain in, in, in areas areas of revenue and even in areas of planning, areas where they're supposed to do certain work. But as we speak now, some of the assemblies don't even have a database of the number of houses that are in the area, the kind of houses that they are. So in even in fixed fishing, they just decided to do whatever they, they want to do. Because there are a lot of new developmental issues the new design houses and all that and those things all must be fixed into the fifth fifty so that if you are going to uh, collect uh, a property rate from somebody maybe three bedroom apartment or six bedroom apartment you, sh you should know in your municipality all those numbers to be able to estimate but if you don't it, be, it becomes very difficult that's why come i think that the, the assembly should take this exercise very seriously especially where we are having new developing communities like my, my constituency, yes. The, co the concern, sir, yeah. ha that's been really, as you make your comments, is the need to also synchronize some of these data we seem to be collecting left, right, center. Yes. Um, I would take this uh, street naming policy and the National Identification Authority mm. exercise, you know, together. You see, I'm looking at the impact on business. I mean, some years back, I think a concern was raised on this cost of borrowing and ability to identify the person was a factor that affected how much one, you know, would get a, a loan for at a certain interest rate. So I think for the banks, for the financial services uh, providers, for other institutions in the corporate world, for investors, if we are able to do this street naming properly, if we are able to get all people to be properly registered by the National Identification Authority, it will help, you know, boost our economic growth mm. because it's really a big burden, you know, when you're giving a direction to somebody. Even in Accra here, well-designed uh, mm. uh, uh, vicinities. Oh, when you get here, you see a certain building mm. uh, by name this, mm. 10 right, 10. I mean, you should be able to give the street name and the person will drive you there or the person will just follow. So it's a problem. We need to have it done. Once we get it done, uh, uh, it would create an enabling environment for people to have confidence in the economy locally and even potential investors. You go to some other countries, you, you take public transport, whether it could be a commercial car like taxis, etc. You just have to write anything. It could be an uh, Arabic country, it doesn't matter. Or even a neighbor, Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria is well. For example, Nigeria in Lagos, you yeah. go to Lagos, you're looking for 27 Okeja or something. So you just give it to a taxi driver, he takes a look at it, he'll take you there. Yeah. Um, how do we make sure for a system that we've not been used to, not necessarily the street naming, but the conscientization, we, 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 we get to make those who tend to play instrumental roles in the economy very much conversation. Well, I think if we get it well settled and people, because it's something that people are worried about, mm. giving directions. Mm. So I expect, I believe that the public would cooperate 
and we'll patronize it, especially the taxi drivers. Once we get... Once, once the poor educational levels or the low literacy levels of, of these categories of workers tend to uh, influence how effectively it could Roland, be... you'll be shocked. People, <laughs> people may not be that educated, but mm -hmm. these are things that they can, they can, they can do it. So uh, that shouldn't be a worry. Uh, I think that if we properly get it done, it's well coded uh, in soft, and it's a reliable database. Can always be accessed. It can always be accessed, and don't be worried about educational levels of 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 people. I mean, when we introduced a new Ghana city, I mean in 2007, I mean, uh, although the general education was on, but our market women they they, they understood it. If you mm. gave them fake, they will tell you, though most of them have not been to schools. So I tell you that people, once they get conscientized mm. up to a certain level, the rest would, will, will follow. I, vi I visited Monrovia, Liberia, and you say you want Charles Taylor Street. And you say, oh, you want Charles Taylor Street? Oh, see down. You know, the they way you, you. Yes, they, they take you on, on your that, That's the target you have to go. Mm. And we should not be worried about uh, yeah, but they speak English, so it's easier for them to verify. No, but the name, a name is a name. A name. <laughs> Just tell us. It's the, coded. It's, yes. As time goes on. Initially, Education. Initially, we may have some challenges. Challenges. But as we go along, people will get used to it. Especially those who use it frequently. Especially taxi drivers, the, those who drive the, the tourists and all that. They will get used to it and we'll get, we just get on. So what I'm saying is that I, I'm even thinking. Uh, and the rate at which I'm expecting that this assembly themselves to get involved and they speed up the process because it's going to help them more than anybody. So they should speed up the process and make sure this process is complete because we are, I think for me, we are wasting too much time on these things that because it's just a district assembly, the district. And they are, they are, you have a lot of human resource and a district assembly, that a lot of guys who are there. They should be able to speed up the process and complete this before I should get. Mm -hmm. So that's it that, that for me, yeah. Okay. Because it's a very good thing. Yeah, yes, me. and Roland also, you see, people trying to open bank accounts, it makes the work of the bankers much more easier. You enter the address, you don't need any verification. Mm. Because on the soft, I know uh, EcoBank, for instance, they are hooked to the EC database. So if you want to open an account with EcoBank, and you are using an EC uh, voter's ID, ID, and it is fake. I mean, you will be caught immediately. I don't know whether other banks have adopted same, mm. but it's a straightforward thing. They've linked that. So, can you imagine if you want to open an account or do business, you have your address, verifiable one, and it, the bank can easily access. I mean. It doesn't need some, somebody to come and identify you or get references and all that because that database is there. And also, it helps to fight crime, in combating crime. Okay? If you, 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 commit, uh, you, 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 you commit any fraud at a bank or any institution, your database is there. They know your house. Immediately, they give your details to the law enforcement agencies. It takes... Uh, uh, hours or seconds or minutes to trace you to mm. your uh, the, your house yeah. or where you are, you know. Um, if you go to immigration, immigration is, is also doing well. They mean keeping uh, database of people who get in and out of the country. If you you have reliable database linked, the street naming is done. People's uh, houses are well uh, labeled. Uh, labeled I mean, you have your house numbering system on in, in soft, your your name, everything, your bio data. All this doesn't include the house numbering system. Yes, of course. It's supposed sure. to. Yes, yes. No, it's, the, 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 it's not only the streets. The, 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 the street naming is the first one. Then we go to the next phase of numbering them, coding them. Okay, yes. Okay, so once that is done, in congested communities, how do you do the coding? How do you do them? You should be able to. I mean, it's just numbering them. And then, you know, mm. uh, uh, if you number, you know, house number, so, yeah. so, and so. Because already, you know, we have the house numbering system. Yes, yeah, sort in, of. In, in, in some, in some, in some that, communities. Yes. 
Well, yes, I agree. Except that because we don't have a database which can be verifiable, mm. which is reliable and accessible, and accessible, we we know our hands are tied. So, I believe strongly that apart from the effect on business, combating crime, like I earlier indicated, you know, it will help our law enforcement agencies, you know, and that is the way to go. I mean, it's too late in the day, you know, uh, for us as a country, still being where we are, not having this uh, street naming thing done, and we would urge, you know, the, the district assemblies and the metropolitan, now that we have our mayor being the president of uh, um, all the, you know, not only uh, are we to fight cholera, uh, you know, but we make sure that certain fundamentals are right to help, you know, our country to grow. Okay, uh, 